So finally, after about two years, Claude can now search the web in real time. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can access web browsing inside Claude along with some real world examples. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So I'm on Anthropic's website and I will leave a link to this in the video description below so you can check out this press release. They do have a quick little demo here of what this web browsing feature looks like inside Claude's interface. I'd recommend watching that really quick. They provide some popular ways and examples that you can use Claude with web search. But when it comes to access, unfortunately, this new feature is only available for all paid users of Claude and you must be based in the United States. This is Claude Pro, Claude Teams. I think there's a Claude Enterprise Prize. So if you're not in the United States and you're on the free version, or if you're using the free version of Claude, you will not have access to this feature right now. But it says support for users on our free plan and more countries is coming soon. Now, if you are a paid user of Claude and you're based in the United States, you do have to toggle this feature on. And to do that, go to Claude's website, hover over the left menu here, scroll down and click your profile icon, click settings. And then under profile, if you scroll down under feature preview, here is the new web search feature. You make sure that you toggle this on. It's right above the analysis tool. And once that's toggled on, all you need to do is come back to the home screen and you just need to prompt it to browse the internet. So just say browse the internet for the price of Bitcoin right now. And let's see what this says. All right, so in about five seconds, Claude came back and gave me a range of the price of Bitcoin because it fluctuates so much, but it says as of March 19th and March 20th. So we know that this is a recent search. Now, if I click this option, it lists all the sources of where it got Bitcoin's price from. So just a really quick example, but now let's do something a little more in depth. Now, one other thing to mention is that this web search feature only applies to Claude 3.7 Sonnet. I went ahead and tested it on normal and extended, and it did work on both of those. I'm not sure why you'd be using 3.5 Hayaku or some of these older models anyways at this point, but that is a quick little detail that I wanted to throw in. So let's run another example. Compile the top AI news today with a short blurb of why it matters. This is a prompt that I actually ask across ChatGPT, Perplexity, sometimes Google search, but I asked this all the time to curate the top AI news. So here it says top AI news today, March 20th, 2025. That's today's date. So it got that correct. And if you click the drop down, it links to all these sources that it's using to find AI news. NVIDIA, TechCrunch, Google's blog, uh, Coursera, Seeking Alpha, Google's blog, and then artificialintelligence.com. I think that's what that one is. Uh, based on my search, here are the top AI news. So NVIDIA's Quantum Day at GTC 2025, and then it links off to the relevant source right there. Uh, Larry Page's new AI manufacturing, uh, advanced robotics, Infosys Responsible Toolkit, Apple's AI investment strategy. So it performed well in that instance, but let's try another example here. I'm gonna go back to the home screen and I'm gonna say, I'm evaluating potential investment in the AI sector. Search for recent earnings reports or market analysis for NVIDIA, Google, looks like I screwed that up. We need to put Alphabet in parentheses, Meta, Amazon, and other leading AI companies. Summarize recent performance trends with direct citations. So I'm actually gonna skip ahead and wait till this output is complete. All right, so here's the response that I got from Claude. That took about 15 to 20 seconds. And if I click the drop down on the sources, again, 10 results. So one thing I'm noticing that's an interesting observation is that for whatever the results are, there's always 10 of them. There's not less, there's not more. I've run like 10 examples and they've all had 10 results each time. Just something interesting I caught. Uh, and then they say, based on my search, here's a summary. So they list the summary of NVIDIA and all the other big tech AI companies, Amazon, Meta, et cetera. Uh, then it asked me if I wanted any more specific aspects or company performance in more detail. So I said, explore Amazon in more detail. Again, 10 results, interesting observation. Uh, so it gives all these different categories of exploring Amazon. And what's really cool about this is you can combine Claude's artifacts features with its new web browsing feature. So then I said, create a visual for Amazon stock chart. So I went ahead and clicked this and then it generated this artifact based on Amazon stock. And then it listed these key AI investment events. 
Q3 2024, Q4 2024, February 2025. Uh, so just a really great way. And it, you know, you can look at it in code, you can look at it in the preview mode, just a really unique way uh, to look at data or look at any information is by utilizing Claude's artifacts feature. So let's look at another example related to shopping or transactional queries. I just said, browse the internet for the best headphones under $100. And it said, I'd be happy to help with that. If I click this, once again, we have 10 results. So what I, what I found interesting about this result, though, is it doesn't actually link to product pages of headphones. No Best Buy, no Amazon, no Target, no Walmart, etc. It's linking off to different informational sites. So like headphoneaddicts.com. Uh, sound guys. If I click on this link, it's linking off to these informational or listicle articles explaining the best headphones under a hundred dollars. Now it is giving specific brands here and specific models, but if I click this again, it's not taking me to an actual product page of that model. Really interesting. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed by this result. Now, if I'm just looking for information and I'm not ready to buy something, okay, I could see that. But if I'm ready to buy something and I'm actually looking for product pages to purchase headphones, I would like to actually link to those retailers. I know Perplexity Shopping was just announced last year, end of 2024, where you can actually buy things right inside Perplexity's platform. Obviously, Google has a unique and cool shopping interface. So that is one area that I'm already noticing that Claude probably isn't the best at. So let's run one more example. And this time you'll notice I'm in my Claude project, my Ryan Dozer personal brand. You'll see why I'm doing that here shortly. But I said, I'm drafting a blog post about the most recent advancements in generative AI tools. Browse the internet for announcements or credible sources discussing Claude 3.7 Sonnet's new web browsing capabilities. Provide concise bullet points with link citations. So basically I'm telling it to do research on a topic that I'm going to write a blog post about. So here it went through all these different sources and then it had these these bullet points like I asked it about Claude 3.7 Sonnet and web browsing links off to all these sources etc cetera, etc cetera. so then I can follow up inside my Claude project and say great now with these bullet points not bullets bullet points turn this into an optimized let's do SEO optimized blog post using my writing style and project instructions that I already have laid out inside this Claude project and guys, I still think that Claude 3.7 Sonnet is the best AI model right now for copywriting. I use it all the time for short form and long form content. So the fact that we can now access the internet, that was always one of its biggest downsides, if not the biggest downside. And now that it has real time internet access, we can leverage that with creating content. So right here, now I'm asking it to generate bl a blog post based on this research that it just did. Claude 3.7 Sonnet, missing web browsing holds back Anthropic's most advanced AI. The missing piece, what it focused on instead. Uh, API integration, it even adds external links, which is really cool to see that. Uh, the bottom line, right? So it just cranked out a blog post based on that research that it did because we now have access to the internet. This is a very revolutionary update that Claude has made. Now, some final notes on this topic that I think are relevant and important to bring up is that I don't know if you guys knew this, but Google owns 14% of Anthropic. I'll leave a link to this article in the video description below, um, but it says right here they've invested more than $3 billion into Anthropic across multiple rounds, but they can't own up to 15% of Anthropic. They have no voting rights, no board seats, and no board observer rights. Now, Amazon, they were one of the early investors in Anthropic. They've invested up to $8 billion, but they also also cannot have a board seat on Anthropic as well. Now, why do I bring up Google's 14% ownership in Anthropic? Well, the question must be asked, where are they getting these sources from? Well, the reason I'm bringing that up is because if we do a web search in ChatGPT, knowing that Microsoft is a big investor in ChatGPT, ChatGPT with its browsing features, if I had to guess, is leveraging Bing behind the scenes to pull in its web results. So if I had to guess, Anthropic is probably leveraging Google somehow, some way behind the scenes to populate its search results. So it'll be really interesting to see how this plays out over time. And lastly, I just want to say that I think Claude adding real-time internet browsing to its platform is a huge deal. This was always the number one downside of Claude when I was comparing it to ChatGPT, Grok, and other LLMs. I've always liked Claude, especially 3.7 Sonnet when it comes to copywriting, ideation, and several other features. I use Claude every single day. And I do think that adding real-time web browsing is a major differentiator when comparing it to ChatGPT. I will say... 
I think I'm going to give Claude Pro a slight edge above ChatGPT Plus here. I thought ChatGPT Plus was a little more versatile, but that web browsing feature was a huge deal for me. I would recommend Claude Pro over ChatGPT Plus now with this new addition. Now it's not available to free users of Claude yet. So once it starts to roll out to free users of Claude, I expect Claude's popularity to grow even further. So now I wanna hear your thoughts on Claude now being able to browse the internet in real time. Do you think this is a big deal? Do you think this puts them above ChatGPT and other LLMs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. If you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.